In this tutorial, we'll look at how to export and optimize an SVG graphic. So we're looking at the best practice uh, method here. So let's go over to look at the illustration that uh, we're going to be using. So we've got an illustration here of a lion, and we're going to be uh, preparing that for export. So what we need to do next is to trim the artboard. Because right now you can see that there's a lot of white space around the drawing, and we don't want that. We just want to have the art, uh, just the boundary of the art here. So what you need to do is just to select the drawing and then go over to the left side here and you'll see the artboard tool. So just click that and you'll see here that it, uh, we have the option custom. So just uh, there's a drop down there. So click that and you have the option fit to select art and that's what we want. So when we click that, you'll see that it will trim to just the uh, the boundary of the art itself, the drawing. Also in the artboard tool, you'll see that it has the name of the artboard. And you can see the same name over here on, on this side uh, under artboards. So we do want to change that to something a little more descriptive. So let's change that to, um, we'll just call it Lion. And that will also be the file name when you export this file. So press enter. Then we can exit that of the artboard tool. Then over on this side now, uh, you'll see also that we have the layer tab. So click on layers and it says layer one. So if you're using this as an inline SVG graphic in, on a website and you want to do some modifications um, such as colors or you want to animate this in a, in a way, then what you want to do is want to change this too because this is just a generic ID. and. Uh, probably want to have that to be a little more descriptive as well. So let's change that to lion and we'll change it to ID like that. So now when that is exported, you'll see that in the code later that it will have, have this name. So now we're ready to export a file and there's a couple of ways we can do this. So let's look at the preferred way first. So we'll go to file and we'll go to export and export for screens. And you'll see our artwork selected right here. On the right side, we have some options here. We have the folder where this is going to be saved, and we also have the format here. So this is already selected as SVG, but you also have some other formats that you can use. And you can add these formats if you want to do that for the same export. So you can just go add and add a ping, for example. But in this case, we're just going to keep an SVG. There are some advanced settings for SVG that you can access by clicking on this little gear wheel here. And you get another window and it shows for all of the formats but let's go to SVG and you'll see the, the settings here. So these settings are fine as is but uh, the one you might want to change is the object IDs. So instead of having layer names you might want to change that to minimal. If you, and that's if, you, if you're not using this as an inline SVG graphic and you don't need to target this uh, drawing in any way. But we'll keep the, the layer names uh, in this case. Another one is the decimals, which is the precision of the SVG graphic. So in this case, it's uh, three decimals, which is uh, plenty. So I would just keep that. It also has a minify checked here, which will reduce the size of the SVG by quite a bit. So I will definitely keep that. So we'll cancel these settings and then we'll export the artboard. So the second way to export is to go file, export, and then export as. So we have SVG already selected, but there's uh, several different formats here to choose from. Here you'll see use artboards. So in this case, we're gonna check that because uh, we, we just want to save just this artboard. When you do export for screen, you get a preview of what you're exporting here. Here you don't. And then we'll, uh, we'll just rename this to uh, export as. So we have some, don't overwrite our previous file and then go export and we get the, the options there. And these are the same as the advanced settings under export for screens. And decimals are set to three here as well and the minify and responsive. So we'll just uh, go okay. And now it's exported here and it has the same exact file size as the, our previous file. There's also a third way, and that is to save as a SVG file. So we'll change the name here to saved as, and then we'll change the format here. 
to SVG. And it's the same thing here. It says to use artworks, which we, we're going to use that. We're going to check that. Then I'll click save. And here we get a few different options. It, uh, it's showing what uh, type of uh, SVG language to use. So in this case, we're using uh, the latest version 1.1, and we want to stay with that. That's uh, the standard. And you get a few other options here. Uh, and this is um, it's actually set to one for the decimal places. So the precision is less on this one, actually. So let's uh, update that to three. This is not minified on this one. So this the file size will be bigger on this one as well. Then I'll click uh, OK. Now let's take a look at the files that we have created. So we'll go to the finder and we have three files. So we had the export as and then the export for screens. So those are the exact same size as you can see. So 17 kilobytes. And then we had our last file here that was uh, saved as and that is not minified. So that is a, bit, a little bigger. So it's 21 kilobytes. So let's look at the actual code for these. So the export as file, you see that this is all one line. It's it's minified, and you and here you can see the ID that we selected uh, earlier in the in the layers panel. So let's look at the saved as file. So here you see that it's not minified. It's uh, not on one line like the other one was, but it's much easier to read and it's a lot easier to edit if you need to do that. So now let's take a look at how to optimize the SVG graphic. So we're going to go to the browser and we'll use an online tool called SVG OMG. So in this case, we can open just uh, right here or we can just uh, drag and drop right into this window. So we have uh, our three files. These two are minified to export as and export for screens. So how much can this be uh, reduced from here? Well, let's give it a try. So we'll drop it in and you see that it did reduce it uh, a little bit. So we'll save the file. And we'll call this one original because it saves with the exact same file name. And then we'll drop our new new file in here. And you notice that it's a little bit smaller. It's one kilobyte smaller than our previous uh, file. So there's a few things that have been removed. If I open this file, there's some small things that have been removed. The color code here. You'll see here that yeah, the semicolon right there and then also there's things like the title of the file uh, that's been removed from, from this uh, new reduced file. So this is the bare minimum of what it uh, can be. Now let's try our saved as file that was not minified. So we'll, again, we'll go to our folder here. I'll drag this over. I'll call this original. And you see that this has also been reduced quite a bit. So let's uh, download that. And you see that it's reduced quite a bit, but it's not as much as our previous file that was uh, minimized from Illustrator. So it's definitely preferred to export as or export for screens from Illustrator to get the smallest file size. So most of these uh, settings I would keep as is. Uh, but one thing that you can play with is the precision. So in Illustrator, we saved as three decimals. So if you hold down on this slider, it will show three. So it has the three decimals there. So by default, it will be three. But we can go down to see if that uh, makes any visual impact on, on this uh, drawing. So let's go down to two, and there's no visual impacts there. One, no visual impact there. Zero, yes, definitely uh, some visual impact there. So one looks like it's actually a good uh, setting to use. So we'll try that. And we'll download this file. So I'll rename the original file here to we'll do three decimals. And then we'll have our new file in here. I'll drop this in. This is the one decimal. So it's a file size of six kilobytes in difference here. So that's definitely, and if I preview this, you see this in a little bigger. So this is the one decimal and the three decimal. Almost no visual difference whatsoever in these uh, two files here. So definitely a big improvement in file size. So that's how you export and optimize an SVG graphic. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful.